morning campers. We are in Texarkana, Arkansas. Okay, sure. Whatever. Um, it was a very interesting work zone that we're driving through that keeps shifting us back and forth from lane to lane. It's fine. Uh, we, we were here last night. It took us pretty much the entire day yesterday just to get out of Dallas with cargo. It wasn't good. It was not good at all. But uh, we made it. This load, as it was originally scheduled, was basically impossible, especially after the shipper took forever to get us loaded. So there wasn't any way to really make that work. But hey, we're, we're here now. And uh, we're going to make it work. So we should be delivering sometime tomorrow south of Memphis. Which means we've got all day to cross Arkansas. Uh, that means I'm going to get some stuff done. We've got a Walmart in about 17 miles with truck parking. So I'm going to stop and grab some groceries and get some prescriptions refilled. Today's going to be a nice relaxing day. Yesterday, yesterday was frustrating. Yesterday was possibly one of the most frustrating days I've had in this industry. But uh, that's all right. Y'all got a lovely sunset out of the deal. And I got some time to edit, which is always appreciated. So, you know, <laughs> got to look on the positive side. I mean, I totally didn't already record this intro twice other than wind up cursing and spitting and angry. But uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. They're getting it fixed for me, and I'm the one that's, uh, I'm going to make the load work regardless of the fact that it's super ridiculous as far as, uh, as far as the original time it was, but it's doable now, totally doable now, though they still haven't set, it's a two-stop load. We've got a uh, one stop in South Haven, Mississippi, which is just south of Memphis, and another in uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, they have not rescheduled the first appointment yet, so I'm assuming that's going to be sometime super early tomorrow morning. So we're going to move up to South, or we're going to move up to West Memphis. Hello, Rumble Strips. We're going to move up to West Memphis to park it there for the night until we get a solid appointment time. Because uh, I've, I've finished going out of my way to make this load special. <laughs> they, they, they can't schedule it well enough to, to suit the fact that like just make it drivable then it's not my problem <laughs> so we'll see in 600 feet turn right onto genesis drive There's two spots left. <laughs> oh no, is that is that one? Oh no, this might not be a real spot. Oh no. Yeah, I get a spot. goes to show if you try and parallel park long enough eventually somebody just leaves <laughs> ah, works for me we are out of here my prescriptions and my refrigerator have been refilled successfully and I do like Walmart's with truck parking Walmarts that really make me mad are the ones that put in these truck barriers, that, that orange thing over the other entrance, that stop us from coming in, but then don't provide somewhere else for us to park. Like, this one did the best of both. They keep us out of the parking lot and away from the other vehicles, but they gave us somewhere we can park, which is nice.
Hervey Street. Hervey? Oh, it is Hervey. I thought it just mispronounced Harvey. That's funny. It is indeed Hervey. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the I-30 East ramp.
Also, you get really good fuel economy on, on uh, areas like this, which is super nice. Though it is uh, ever so slightly uphill at the moment, so we're getting great fuel economy. There it goes. Can we level that again? See, it's right back up. Pushing 8.3, 8.4 on my week so far, which I think ends today. I'm not sure. I don't know if the week ends today or tomorrow because there's, you know, holiday stuff going on. Probably tomorrow. Or probably today. We put it out. Words. I have them. Yeah, we're almost to West Memphis. We're about 90 miles away. We're gonna stop there, see if I can't find parking, and then wherever we find, wherever has the best parking is where we will get fuel. If the, uh, the pilot's nice and empty, we'll just fuel up there and find somewhere to park. <sighs> Basically, I want to shower today, and if I'm forced to go to the Petro, I need to be able to fuel there so I can get a shower. I don't currently have one at Petro TA. We haven't, I haven't been sent to fuel at any of them lately. I miss having a truck with a fuel gauge that worked. Because <laughs> it certainly made everything much easier. But it is, with Maxwell, I'm at the point now where I can't trust my, my fuel macro to keep me from running out of fuel. So, I've been just fueling where it's convenient for me, which has been kind of nice. <laughs> like, uh, it's it's actually saved me quite a bit of time, because fueling, you have to log fueling at least five minutes when you stop for fuel. And uh, if you manage, if you actually just start fueling at the start of your day, you can log your fueling and your vehicle inspection all at once. So you can, you can go from zero to driving like you can you can log only five minutes for a vehicle inspection and fueling together, which is super nice. That way you don't burn up part of your 70 hour clock doing that. Uh, it, saves, it saves maybe about half an hour every week for me to fuel where I at places that I stop for the night or on my 30. Also, it's, it's one less stop to make, which improves my fuel economy. So, that's super nice. Because stopping in the middle of your day to fuel up, just, it's not great. If you can work it into a 30 minute break or a bathroom stop or something you were gonna do anyway, it's fine, but, like my, my projected fuel stop today was less than an hour after my last, my last, like after the Walmart. So that would have sucked. That would have just been an extra stop that was totally useless. I'm really glad we didn't do it. <laughs> I feel kind of bad skipping fuel stops because it means I'm not getting the absolute cheapest fuel possible. But I think the time saved more than pays for the for whatever issues we have there. That's more time that I can spend moving this truck and moving cargo. All right, folks, I'm ending my day here. We are in Earl, Arkansas. How's that for a tempting view out the window? Uh, <laughs> there's little Debbie snap, snack cakes right outside my window. It's lovely, isn't it? Other than the propane tank. But still, we're at a TA in Earl. Uh, it's pretty nice. I just had dinner at the, uh, the Country Pride. Haven't had a nice sit down dinner in a while. That was pretty good. A lot better than the average Denny's. So that was pretty nice. I had me a baked potato. Uh, <laughs> we've all, ugh, it's coming back on me. Um, <laughs> the baked potato gets its revenge. But yeah, we've got an early morning tomorrow. We've got to be in uh, South Haven by 4.30. So we'll be up pretty early. I stopped early enough that I think we're going to be pretty good on hours. I think I can start rolling at like 1 a.m. Yeah, we're an hour and a half into it now. So, eight and a half hours from now, I can start rolling again. So, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll be seeing y'all super early tomorrow morning. And we get to see how Memphis traffic is in the middle of the night. Hopefully it's not bad. We just have to kind of duck around to the south side of Memphis. 
And then uh, hopefully this place doesn't completely run me out of hours and I can get, make a good chunk of my way to my uh, to Bowling Green before, before the end of the day tomorrow. Ah, going for the pull through. Did you get it? That is close. <laughs> well, I mean, he made it. He's gonna park it there with the with the trailer right outside my window. And it looks like all right, cool. <laughs> He's happy with that apparently. Wow. All right, that's gonna make it fun for me to get out of here tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna go move to one of these angled spots over here because I feel like I'm gonna get hit if I sit here. So yeah, I'll see you all in the morning.